passionate about improving the quality of decision making and using exponential technologies to address our grand challenge problems. Exponential technologies improve in price performance every 18 to 24 months. These are technologies like artificial intelligence, robotics, nanotechnology, and synthetic biology. And they're not just game changers. They are totally disrupting the playing field of our technologies. We have a huge opportunity to use these technologies in a really positive way, and there are also some downside risks. And that's why I tell our students at Singularity University that sustainable human intelligence requires mathematical, ecological, and ethical literacy. So we can cover the mathematical part of this by addressing the difference between exponential thinking and linear thinking. If I take 30 linear steps, a meter each, you can predict where I'll be. I'll be 30 meters away. But if I take 30 exponential steps, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, et cetera, I'll be a billion meters away. And what is that? It's 26 times around our planet. So the difference between linear thinking and exponential thinking is huge. It also has profound impacts on commerce. Let's think about the difference between Blockbuster and Netflix. In 2004, Blockbuster was a $6 billion company and they were sneering at Netflix. Six years later, Blockbuster's bankrupt and Netflix is at $2 billion and growing. The human brain hasn't had a major upgrade for over 50,000 years. If your laptop or your cell phone hadn't had an upgrade in, say, five years, you'd be concerned about that. And there are not just limitations of speed and bandwidth and memory, but also the brain has built-in bugs and biases in cognition. In particular, it has base rate bias or status quo bias. And a case in point for that is the Google self-driving robot car. This is a car that has an excellent driving record, over 500,000 miles on our city roads and highways. And yet, whenever I talk about this car, people inevitably say to me, well, what happens if th this thing goes haywire and kills a pedestrian? That's unlikely to happen, and if it did happen, we'd find out why and fix it, and it would be a tragedy. But people never ask, well, do you think we could put a dent in the 32,000 people we murder annually in the US alone, or the 1.2 million people that we murder with cars every year around the world? That's a big, big opportunity to save lives. That's an ethical twist in our thinking. This beautiful piece of art is from the Public Library of Science. It's Science Citations. If you're particularly brilliant, you might be able to master two or three, maybe four or five different disciplines in science and technology. But not 